guys, Pizzle here, and today, since Free Volume 4 ended, I wanted to make a video for my hopes for Volume 5, and sorry if this is a little bit echoey, because I am here, I'm in a room, I'm in my room, but it's a bit alone, no one's really here, so it's kind of quiet, a little echoey, sorry, and damn, did this volume ended better than we expected, like seriously, yeah, it was appeared at the end of it, but at least we crow survived, which I am very thankful for, because, oh boy, did it give me a heart attack. And I wonder why people are complaining about it so much. We didn't even have filler. And yes, we didn't have much action in it, but we had a lot of character development, so stop complaining like, geez, people are so needy. Oh, yeah, and um, spoilers. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> and geez, it ended quickly. And the sad part is we'll be, there'll be an end to Ruby soon, which makes me want to cry. Eh, well... How good thing was to come in unless you want to like be like SpongeBob. <clears throat> yeah, you don't want no one wants to be like SpongeBob. <clears throat> just, just saying. There's your teeth. No, hire me. No, no, I'm just kidding. Anyways, before this video starts, I just want to say there will be spoilers. So if you don't watch Ruby, click off this video. It's not that hard. But then again, I think my only viewer that watches Ruby is Captain Ann. Hey, hey, Chibana. How are you? Or something. Like that. So let's get start, let's start it. Number one, Nora's backstory. The reason why I want this is because we don't really know much about her. We won't know much about, we know more about present Nora than back Nora when she was a child. And we, it leads a lot of questions. Because we still don't know why she is an orphan. The episode Kuro Yuri was more of a Bren, Bren backstory episode than a Nora backstory episode. And it was meant to be like that. As we got more questions solved about Ren, and we got questions for Nora, more than solved for Nora, like, where are her parents? Did they die? How did they die? Did a person or a Grim kill them? We honestly don't know, so that's why I thought Volume 5 would be perfect to pick up on those questions. There's also a theory that Raven has to do with her nose panda, which would be, not sure if I agree with it or not, but I just need evidence, then I'll believe it. We don't have that much evidence for that, really. Though I have a question myself. Does Ren Nora Nora's parents? If he does not, like, it would be like, oh, snap, Nora's keeping secrets. Like, oh, crap. <laughs> JK, but seriously, does he know? It's most likely, since Nora knows about Ren's parents, I would like it to play out like Nora's telling Ruby, Jean, and Ren about her backstory, and it's, like, showing it. To the, and it's, like, showing, like, a little visual as she's saying it to the viewers, which would be pretty cool, since, because I don't know... I don't think we need another full episode about backstories. Anyways, on to number two. My second hope is Oscar to meet Team Ranger or Ruby, T Team Ruby. It depends when Team Ruby unites again, but I think this is this scene would be is gonna be hilarious and awkward because Aspen, their headmaster, is going to be inside a child. Oscar. I can't imagine Nora laughing in disbelief and Oscar pulls out the cane and Nora's like oh snap it is uh, Aspen that would be hilarious number three Neil's return so we haven't heard Neil's name for a while since and for a whole season and it's kind of making me concerned if Neo is alive or not because I don't think she died when she flew off the ship and when she's coming, when she flew off the ship, and when she's coming back, and I want to know when she's coming back, because if she comes back, she would be mad at Ruby, because she's most likely going to blame Ruby for Roman's death, because she cannot save him from that grim. And I'm hoping she will speak, because she is the only fully developed character with her own umbrella weapon that has not spoke. Number four. Adam encounter. We haven't really seen Adam since season three. Yeah, he's in volume four his intro. Yes, he was in Yang's dream, but that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. And something tells me when Blake takes back the White Fang, she is not she's going to fight Adam and she's not gonna do it alone. Team Ruby Unites again. Yay. <laughs> Number five, Ren showing his emotions more. And this is what this is why uh, I want this, him to show showing his emotions more. And this is why in Volume 4 I absolutely love, love Ren's character development in this season. Like, my goodness. 
because we're talking about Ren here. Ren who barely smiles, barely speaks, and barely shows his emotion, always annoyed. This is Ren we're talking about, and he has done amazing this season, this volume. We also got a full episode about his backstory, Carl Yuri, and he smiled at Nora two times without her noticing and holding her hand, like, oh my gosh. Sorry, the fangirl went right there. <clears throat> Hashtag Nora, it's canon. But seriously, that's a lot to take in. So I'm hoping that Rooster Teeth does not like make Ren be how he was like back then, and I'm hoping that they make him how he was volume four, because I really love to see his emotions more, because he was angry in No Safe Haven. Nora had to slap him in the face. So he just slapped some sense into him. Literally, to be honest, I was not expecting that slap. But seriously, it was like really loud. But they love each other anyway. Finally, number six, John Semblance. Before I talk about that, oh my gosh, John, you have grown so much. There's new John as a puke boy, and now he's actually doing action. My little John's growing up so fast. Ugh, I'm gonna cry. No, no. John's growing up so fast, my John. My son. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, I really want to see John Simmons because according to Pira, which was a lot, of, he had a lot of aura, so I'm guessing his semblance is very strong. Because if his aura, he has a lot of aura, also, he, when he takes a lot of damage, which he does a lot, because supposedly, he's supposedly the weak one, I guess, I don't know. But I think he's really strong. But since he was, he took a lot of damage these past few seasons, and if he took that much panic damage, we have never seen him lose his aura in the entire show, which is amazing. <sighs> and I'm guessing it's very strong. And when John uses it, I'm going to cry my eyes out. Anyways... If you guys like to enjoy this video, and do you believe in destiny? Bye.